Okay, this one's pretty boring, but I'm sure we can make this look good. Oh. Let's see how we go with it. How big we're we gonna make it? We're just gonna set it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna make it 200 on the horizontal and on the vertical. I'm thinking it's gonna be 200. And eight. So let's see how we go color wise with this one. Going to make it negative positive, and I wonder what color we're going to make it a background color for this rather boring piece. I don't know how what color to give it red or yellow, or maybe magenta, red. Red would probably go with this one. Um, going all the way to the hue. Actually, we're not going to make it, we're not going to go to that yet. We're just going to make it plain old 200 because we're going to move it. We're not at the finishing stage yet. So I'm wondering if there's anything else. No, all right. This one here is facelift, face, face first, hydrofacial. Oh, there's all these different facelifting shit. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I mean, why do rich people go for this stuff i mean seriously i'd rather not interfere with nature thank you very much and i'm not interested in spending money that i don't have on this fucking shit you know i really hate the way people are so frightened of looking old it's like they're totally scared and they they do botox they do facelifts they do uh, what's the hypoxy or is hypoxy just to lose weight confusing there's all these different treatments that you can get available and I just don't have any interest in mutilating my fucking face just to look beautiful just to look supposedly beautiful anyway that looks really interesting I think we've made a good take on on something shit house like this uh, so I wonder if we're going to do another one or if we're going to just throw this where it belongs in the recycle bin. <laughs> I've got no use for it. It's only good for a demo. That's what I use it for anyway. Uh, time to set this silly machine to make it into a mirror image. So this will be probably, I'd say this is going to be the center part. So I'm going to have to do a slight enlargement of this. So let's see what we can do to make this look interesting. Oh, fuck off, Konica. Your stupid user interface does still piss me off. You fucking idiots. So let's just turn that off. And we're now just going to do some work. Maybe the red's going to stay in and the hue. We're going to leave these settings, strangely enough. Well, it's really odd, but we'll see how it goes. So this is our made-up woman. She just doesn't... Just silly the way people are so worried about their looks. I mean, seriously, it's okay to get, get wrinkles. I know, I've, I know wrinkles are not nice, but you, they're just a, a fact of life, you know? They're just a fact of life. You might as well save your fucking money for something better like giving to charity. You know, maybe give to a charity instead of wasting it on fucking vanity. It is, it's vanity as far as I'm concerned. I mean, even my dad was caught up in this shit. He was worried about his slightly thinning hair. His hair was only slightly thinning and he just took it like, well, I have to fix this problem. So he spends all this money over the years on hair care treatments, hair, hair 
replacement or hair loss treatments like Ashley and Martin uh, and other sh and he's tried sump oil or something that looks like sump oil which is really 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 disgusting and he just gets it all over his pillow and my poor mother had to sleep next to that it was really gross and yet he just it didn't help he ended up going under the knife and having his head his scalp slit open which really grosses me out the, th the thought of that and basically yeah, he had an operation, and that was what he ended up um, settling on after all these years of potions and lotions and shit like that. And really, there's nothing wrong with losing your hair. I mean, seriously. The man I'm going to marry is, is bald. He was bald in his 20s, and he never showed any shame. He never felt any shame. He still made himself look nice in in reasonable way like shaving and that he didn't feel embarrassed about his bald patch and hats go off to him for being himself instead of trying to because basically you know people are gullible when they fall for these tricks because basically it's advertising it's all about making money from people who are who are worried you know and basically it's just stupid falling into that trap of thinking you had to get your hair fixed otherwise you're not worthy being called a person or part of society or maybe I don't know what was going through his head when he had those treatments I really have no respect for my father I mean he's, he's an asshole anyway but he's everything he's everything a father shouldn't be pretty much well there are worse fathers there are pedophiles and murderers or killers Dad's not a pedophile, Dad's not a killer, but he's an asshole. So, so it goes to say that you got to expect assholes to be a bit vain, you know, a bit vain. You know what I mean? Assholes are fucking vain. I mean, and that looks really interesting. Look at that. It's back to positive. So now we're just going to use this. But you know, it's like. Why bother f filling the pockets of rich people who, who, who promise the world and give you nothing? And you try all the time, you try every fucking treatment or virtual, or, or at least a lot of treatments, if not all. And basically, yeah, it's like, it's like just leave it alone. It's okay to go bald. It's okay to have wrinkles. You know, why bother? Your life, you're not going to live life on earth very long time anyway. You're going to die. So why bother trying to make your mortal body look perfect? You're not perfect on the inside. And yes, my dad's a fucking bully and an asshole. And he's got to apologise for me, to me for being a bully. For telling me I should not do photocopier art. And for tearing up a couple of pictures of mine when I was 15. So I'm not happy. And I'm not happy with my dad strapping me as a child. He strapped me and it was fucking painful. And he's just such a dick. He gets angry at me for not being able to know where a certain place is on, on the world map. He basically says, go buy an atlas. And he just talks like he's, he's bullying. He's, he talks like a schoolyard bully when he tells me I should get, I should learn geography from you know reading an atlas he just takes the piss out of me for not knowing where certain places are I mean come on dad so I can't so I'm no good at geography so I don't know what you know about traveling you've traveled more than I have you never gave me enough opportunities to travel the world bitch so why should you t I ex why should you expect me to know what where a certain place is. Why fuss over trivialities, father? You're an idiot. You're like the bullies that fucked my head up at school, you fucking cunt. You gotta sit on this and gyrate, father, and apologize. Well, no, you're not gonna sit on my fucking finger, surely, but you know, I'm getting pissed off with you, and I really don't have any respect for you, father. You're a fucking dickhead. You spent all your money, all that money on your hair and and all that, and you never gave us hardly anything. Sure, you, you, you gave us good Christmas presents at Christmas time, but you never gave me no fucking pocket money or anything you expected me to fucking clean to get pocket money. I mean, come on, Father. 
what kind of a dad were you? You're a fucking asshole, bitch. And you, you threw me out of your home as well. And I felt very ups I felt sick after that. So you've got a lot of explaining to do. And you've got a lot of apologising to do. I will not talk to you, father, until you fucking apologise for all this fucking abuse. So get fucked until then. Tiddle-oo.